Hi, I'm Craig Williams, President and CEO of Pride Enterprises, General Contractor and Construction Manager. Very excited to be leading the construction effort on the uh, Six Man Center. We have hired you uh, to play a major role in our project and uh, give us a bit of history uh, about yourself uh, and your firm. And then after that, if you could share a little bit of uh, your sense of access and opportunity uh, in the construction and trades industries. Sure. Um, my family has been in the construction industry for two generations, spanning 30 plus years. We established ourselves in the public sector, performing a range of projects for almost every federal agency throughout the Northeastern United States. In recent years, we've worked hard to position our firm in the private and institutional markets of the Philadelphia area. Discrimination is an unfortunate and pervasive feature of American life. It has impacted the construction industry in the same manner that's reflected across our entire society. A lot of progress has been made, of course, but as recent events have shown us, uh, we have a long, long way to go. Uh, PYB's Black Empowerment Participation Initiative as part of the construction and operation of the Allen Harwood Six Man Center is a great example of what's needed to move the dial. Thankfully, it's part of a larger trend that's moving things in the right direction. So Craig, you've told me before that um, part of this challenge is due to historical discrimination. And with that is that there's not an abundance of supply of black owned businesses and workers and apprentices. Um, so given that supply side problem, uh, how, how are we under your leadership uh, gonna go about achieving uh, our, our participation objectives? Construction has always been a central driver of economic activity and job opportunities. Our plan is to create inroads for opportunities at every level of the construction process. With Pride leading the charge as a diverse GCCM, we plan to maximize black and local involvement at the prime subcontractor level, supplier, as well as at the labor level of the project. We plan to engage in a coordinated effort with established organizations to identify and uh, create opportunities for apprentices and pre-apprentices to open up pathways for them to enter the job market and enter the unions. Um, you, you talk about the, the supply, the, the amount of, of um, businesses that are owned by black people in the city. And a lot of it has to do with opportunity. A lot of it has to do with engagement, um, being in on the project in the early phases, um, addressing capacity issues, creating partnership opportunities, joint ventures, um, things of that nature that will allow companies to, to get involved and grow. And through that growth, mul they'll multiply. What can we be doing both during, but then also after the duration uh, of our construction project, what can we do to ensure that capacity continues to grow? The next job opportunity for that business or that worker or that apprentice uh, comes to be just given the range of relationship capital inside of PYB? You know, through the um, involvement of the leadership of PYB, um, D3, uh, who's, who's managing the construction process and Pride Enterprises, our reach is very far, you know, and, and what we're aiming to do is to be a catalyst in the establishment of an ecosystem to support the growth and development of black owned businesses and workers for the long term. I mean, it, it, there's no silver bullet. It's a, it's a very challenging process. Um, but what we can do is, is create synergies, um, join the larger movement that's happening in the city, be a leader in that process to make sure that this is not just a short-term trend, that this is a permanent change in our community. 